on all that unhealthy eating because Jump Start January starts right now with you. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy. Thank you for joining us for Jump Start January. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button Ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. We don't only do weight loss on this channel, we do life. Now you guys, let's get right to this weigh-in. I don't know what it's going to be. Every day will be different and authentic. So let's get right to it. So at Sam's and this is where I get the honey sriracha. Ran out. Here at Sam's is where we get most of our seasonings. So the garlic jalapeno is here. Hubby always used kicking chicken when he makes our chicken. I always, oh babe, did you need more of the ranch stuff? We ran out, did you want more of that? You do? Okay. You're welcome. Um, our ranch, so just a variety of things. If you guys um, are into different seasonings and you can come to Sam's, but it's awesome. This this is looking pretty good right now. I always gotta check the back to see. Oh, no carbs, that's good. Hmm, I don't wanna try this, but on what? Hmm. Maybe next time. Also grabbing the pink salt for 448. I use this like every day. Love this. Boop. I am not getting any pecans today, or pecans, like I said, whatever one you are, pecan or pecaner, but I do get our pecans from here for $12.96, the big bag. This bag is humongous, okay? It'll last you a few weeks. So this is the ground beef that I am going to get. Um, checking the back of it. it, looks pretty decent. For a serving, I will get zero carbs, 19 grams of protein, which is high. Um, 22 grams of fat though, which is good. 280 calories for four ounces, so I'm gonna get this. So being so that I know we're all going to be using a lot of eggs, and I always eat eggs on keto for the good source of protein at Walmart. I get the 60 eggs, and I think we go about, we go through like one of these a week, maybe one and a half, so one layer, and then another layer. So let me show you the, box from last week so since last week when we bought that cart and we have exactly five eggs left so the 60 count eggs works amazing for us which we get from walmart what i am going to be mainly using this entire week on keto is the ground turkey which i'm going to be making taco salad the avocados for breakfast of course the honey sriracha and the salt which i use on basically everything all right so let's take a look at these ice drinks you guys coconut pineapple is my absolute fave we have kiwi strawberry we have pomegranate blueberry cranberry frost and we have grape raspberry these are some of my faves but if you go check them out you should see them at walmart Sam and Tom Thumb, those are the stores in my area that carry them. And of course, we got our chicken thighs that my husband is going to grill for me. These are the main things that I will be using to get me through this week. So I know this has nothing to do with keto, but Walmart had a sale. So all of these jackets, so they was, this was $14.74, it's now $5. So that one's Ivy's. This one is Destiny's. Right here, she wanted a blue one. I got twins, them one. Baby Dandy, I picked up his, him some stuff from Walmart last week because all the boy clothes was on sale too. But check this out, you guys. 
these jackets right here, this right here, $3. This is Ivy's. And then this jacket set, it comes with a little jacket. It comes with a little shirt on the inside, $3 from Walmart. They have all kinds still on sale. Whoops, they have all kinds still on sale. So y'all know I was up in there. Okay, so I'm finally sitting down. I'm getting ready to eat and I think that I am just over today. This is two days in a row where I feel like I am just mentally done. I don't want to be on keto right now. I really don't, but I don't have a craving to eat anything bad, but it just would have been very convenient to just um, go grab a burger or grab anything else in this house besides measuring out all of this, weighing everything, crunching my numbers, and I still am over my protein um, for today. So, um, yeah, so I have my salad, I have my taco meat concoction, I got some pecans, and I have my homemade Cheez-Its, a bottle of water, and pomegranate blueberry ice, sparkling ice, and this is going to be the last things that I eat tonight. It is 8.25 p.m. You finish cooking the meat? It's 11 p.m. I still gotta be clear. I got about halfway done. Let me tell you guys. Hold on, babe. Let me, because they don't be knowing what be going on behind the scenes. This guy right here goes out of his way to help me stay on keto. It is 11 p.m. at night, and he is still outside grilling chicken so I can be able to stay on keto. We had two batches. So, first batch is done, second batch is still on the grill. Thank so. you, babe. I appreciate you. You're welcome. I'm going to bed. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired. I'll meet you in a little while. Okay, I love you. Bye. All right, so as you guys can see, I went over my protein. Um, I went three grams over. I did not close my fat circle. I did good with my calories. I did good with my net carbs. I do not like when my protein is higher than my fat. It bothers me. It's like water dripping in a faucet. So I feel like me transitioning back on keto from this cheat day has been difficult, but I have not caught the keto flu, which is um good. But other than that, you guys, let's get to this way in and see how I did. You guys stay encouraged. We can do this. Good morning, everyone. Today is Martin Luther King Day MLK. Yes, today is Monday, January 20th, and today we are celebrating the life of Martin Luther King. Yes, yes, yes. It is 7.46 a.m. I hope that everyone is having an amazing morning so far, and we are about to step on the scale and get it cracking. Hopefully, my body is getting back to where it needs to go, getting that weight down. If not, we are not giving up, you guys. Let's go. Yesterday it went to 196. So here we go. One ninety seven point two. We are still heading up. How do I feel? Wow. Okay, so I feel good. Well, I don't feel good that it's still going up. I can't wait to get back into ketosis, but at least you can see how my body does when it's thrown off or something's kind of weird this is not i don't believe that this is fluctuating a lot of people are like oh your body's just fluctuating no when you get out of ketosis due to eating off your meal plan it's different from fluctuating your body has to go through a whole process where it's gonna just take a while to get into ketosis sometimes it could take a week usually for me it takes two to four days um i've never had to wait seven days to get back into ketosis um, but usually if I didn't have the cheat and I fluctuated, I wouldn't be like all concerned. I'm like, all right, cool. I know that's my body going through changes, but for this, I know it's from having a cheat. So this is something that you guys can expect when you come off a, when you come off ketosis to, when you come off keto to cheat, expect for your body to take a minute to get back into ketosis. It's going to be weight gain, bloated, all that, etc. So, hmm. I don't know when I'm gonna get into ketosis, but hopefully soon. But I didn't have, I didn't catch the keto flu. I don't have any symptoms that I am in ketosis. So, oh, see ya. 
All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in for Jump Start January. I will see you right back here tomorrow. Drop a comment down below and let me know how you're doing today. How's it going for you? I definitely want to know. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who? Like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Seaweed Family Channel, we always want you to know that you are needed. Peace out, great people.